So to finish up section 3.2, uh, we're going to talk about mixture problems, another type of application. Now these applications are very common in chemistry, uh, but you'll also find them elsewhere. Uh, maybe you're mixing different uh, concentrations of coffee or uh, you know different uh, types of candy mixtures together or something like that. There's there's lots of different things you could do, um, just thinking of a couple things. But you'll see um, many problems in your textbook and in my math lab that, uh, that will be related to these mixture problems. That They don't always have to be a specific chemistry, like a chemical sort of mixture. Um, but they're, you know, they're similar, they'll set up in a similar way and you'll be able to solve them in a similar way. So hopefully you'll see uh, some patterns, especially after the interest problem from the last video. Uh, the interest in the mixture problems, there's typically some sort of rate involved. Uh, could be a percentage rate, like we've got a couple percents up on this one, or it could be, um, you know, you're combining like the cost of tickets and you're looking at, you know, uh, general admission tickets and, uh, you know, um, floor seating or something at a concert. And so, you know, you've got different prices on these tickets. Well, the, the, the rate or the price is going to be the price is going to be your rate basically. So instead of a percentage rate, so different types of rates are going to be involved in these sorts of mixture problems. Okay. Uh, and so let's take a focus, uh, take a look at this one for a minute, a focus on it. Um, it says how many liters each of a 12% iodine solution and a 30% iodine solution must be used to produce total mixture of 90 liters of a 22% iodine solution. So for whatever reason, this person needs 90 liters of a 22% solution and all they have accessible to them is a 12 and a 30. Now, when you're mixing two solutions like this together, and this one is iodine, so apparently in this one solution, 12% of the volume of that solution is iodine whereas here 30% of it is iodine. And in the final answer, they want one that has just 22%. Whenever you're dealing with these mixture problems, the final result will always be somewhere in between the other two, right? So, you know, for instance, if you're starting, if you have a 30% solution and you add 12% to it or mix these together, you're diluting the 30 down closer to the 12. Um, and so I guess the question then is how much do you have to mix together to get that 22 in the middle and not be 25 or 20%, but to be 22%. Okay, so that's what we're trying to find is um, the exact amount of the 12 and 30 that must be mixed to get to this 22%. Um, and so to do that, again, we're going to follow this four-step process that I outlined in the previous video defining variables, set up a system, solve the system, and state the final conclusion. Okay. So we're going to start by defining our variables. Um, again, I'm just going to use the letters X and Y as the variables, and I'll correspond them to the two different solutions because that is, uh, those amounts are what the problem is asking for. Okay, so I'm going to let part one, we're going to say X, is the amount um, of 12% solution. And we're gonna say that Y is the amount, yeah, of um, the 30% solution. So those are the two amounts. <coughs> um, the system that we're going to set up um, is going to incorporate two things. One is the total amount of the, uh, the solutions that are being mixed. And the other equation is going to um, involve the, just the amount of iodine in those solutions. Okay. So let's think about it for a moment. The two amounts here, when, when they're mixed together, need to total the final total for the, the end solution, which is 90 liters. So the first equation uh, should be pretty simple. It's just X plus Y is 90. 
When you take the two amounts added together, you get 90 total. Okay, and that, that's going to be a very similar um, equation in most of these applications. It was in our previous interest problem as well. So the first equation is x plus y equals 90. The second equation deals with the actual amount of iodine in the solution. Not the solution itself, but the iodine in it. Uh, the amount of iodine in the first solution is 12%, right? 12% of x. So we'd say 0.12x. That's how much solution. If you knew x and calculated 12% of it, that's how much iodine, actual iodine, is in the first solution. Similarly, uh, 0.30y, 30% of y, is the actual amount of iodine in the second solution. Together, these two amounts of iodine must equal 22% of a 90 liter solution. So whatever 22% of 90 is, that's the total amount of iodine in that final solution. And so to figure that out, I just need to multiply the percentage, 0.22, that's 22%, times the 90. You must multiply the rate by the total amount to get the amount of iodine in that solution. So you get 90 liters of solution, 22% of that is iodine, so when you multiply those together, you get the actual amount of iodine, okay? So these two uh, equations are now the system. We've got our system set up. Now we must solve the system. Uh, okay, so solving the system, again, I like to use the substitution method with these rather than the addition uh, because I've got, I'm almost always going to have um, a variable that has a coefficient of one, which is easy to solve for. So I'm going to solve for the y. Um, yeah, I'll just choose one of these two, x or y. I'm going to go with the y. So let's look at, uh, let's take this top equation. If I were to subtract the x from both sides, I get y equals 90 minus x. That expression is going to substitute in for the y in the bottom equation, so I get 0.12x plus 0 0.30 times my new quantity uh, equals 0. Point, well, actually, what's 0. 0.22 times 90? Uh, would that be? Would be like, hmm, I don't know, 19.8 maybe? Let's see. 90 times 0. 0.22. 19.8. Yeah, not too bad. Um, yeah, 19.8. Okay, and so in the parentheses here, I'm going to take my new expression, 90 minus x, which is equal to y. Okay, and again, I just simplify the 22% of 90 over there on the other side. Now I need to distribute my 30%. Um, I get 0.12x, 30% of 90 is, well, 10% is 9, so you take 3 of them, we get 30%, that's uh, 27. So 30% of 90 is 27. 30% of x is 0.3x. Again, you don't need the 0 on here. I did this in the last example as well, where I just included the 0.30 to show that it's the 30% rather than just writing 0 0.3, but you could put 0.3, it doesn't matter. Um, and then that is equal to 19.8, okay? So from here, we're just solving this linear equation. 0.12 minus 0.3, if I combine like terms, is gonna be negative 0.18. Negative 0.18x plus 27 equals 19.8. If I subtract the 27, uh, it doesn't look like a 7. There it is. Uh, let's see. I get negative 0 
1 8 x equals uh, that difference is 7.2 I believe negative 7.2 And when I divide those out, probably get about, I don't know, I'm not sure on that one, um, 40, is that 40? Divide by negative 0.18, try on the calculator to see, negative 7.2 divided by 0.18, oh, I need a negative on that 0.18. Uh, it is 40. Huh. Nice again. So that's 40. Um, so x is equal to 40, and that's going to be 40 liters when I summarize this in the end. Now, the 40 is nice, um, but I also need the amount at the 30%, which is the y value. And so to find y, I could put that 40 back into this green equation y equals 90 minus 40, which will be 50, right? So I'm not gonna write that out. That one seems pretty straightforward, okay? So y is 50, that makes the combination add up to 90. So I solved the system, that was step three, I should write my three in here. Um, and then finally, step four is my final conclusion. And of course, it should be a sentence, I don't reiterate that. Um, and it kind of gives the details of um, what we just found. And so I'm going to erase the original problem here and go ahead and write my sentence up at the top. So step number four, uh, I would say um, you would need to mix uh, 40 liters uh, of the 12%, right, the X was the 12, 12% iodine solution with 50 liters of the 30% iodine solution. Okay, and so that gives us a nice um, summary, a single sentence summary that includes both values that I just found, the appropriate units on those values, and what they each correspond to, that the 40 corresponds to the 12% solution, and the 50 corresponds to the 30% solution.